Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. I'm so excited to bring to you guys today's recipe because I know you are going to love it. Now, it's going to give you thicker, longer and healthier hair faster. Now, it contains only two main ingredients that are very easy to find. So you want to make sure that you keep on watching and you watch to the end of the video so you don't miss out on any useful information. Now, we're going to start by just putting a pan on the stove and then we will be adding one cup of water. Now after you've added the water guys, we'll go in next with some cloves. So I'm using a quarter cup, about a quarter cup of cloves here. Now cloves are very good for hair because it just improves the blood circulation to the scalp which essentially nourishes your follicles and provide faster hair growth. So I'm going to add that to the pan and just allow it to boil um, for a little bit. Once it's boiled for about two minutes, I'm now going to go in with my next ingredient, which will be some flax seeds. Now, flax seeds will get you thicker hair, it will help detangle your hair, so make it very nice and manageable, and also give you nice and shiny um, looking hair. So, really, really good to have in your regimen. So, I'm adding about again a quarter cup of flax seeds to the same pot i'm just going to bring it to the bowl again now at this point you will add another cup of water um just because it will be otherwise you know um too thick so allow it to boil again for about five minutes now you need to be checking this guys because it can boil over now if you find that you're getting something really really thick then go ahead and add more water um, but it doesn't you don't need to boil it for too long essentially so after that you want to take it off the stove and we're going to go ahead and sieve it Okay guys, so after you finish saving it, you just want to let it sit aside so it can cool down and in the meantime, we are going to prep some aloe vera gel. Now, I'll tell you a bit more about why I'm using this later on, um, so you definitely want to make sure that you keep on watching. And I just thought I would introduce this clip in here just because, you know, I may have some people that don't know how to make aloe vera gel, so that's why I just thought I would introduce this. But if you already know how to do it guys, you can just skip this process. Um, so essentially it's very simple you just want to wash your aloe vera and then cut the the sharp edges and then cut it in the middle and use a spoon here just to scrape the aloe vera gel out essentially now i have made it in other ways in the past where i just scoop the flesh of the aloe vera out and then i blend it and i sieve it now the reason i'm doing it like this this time is because i really want a jelly like um consistency to my gel so if you blend it depending on how long you blend it it can go a little bit liquid um which will sort of def would defeat the purpose of what i was trying to achieve so this is what it looks like as you can see it's really a thick gel like consistency and that's what i wanted so you can poke your aloe vera as well and then scrape again really gently so you don't get the flesh of it out essentially and also you can go without sieving this it just saves you so much time so this is what it looks like and see it's really thick and really jelly like and i just love it um so we are now going to move on to the next step i just thought i'll show you guys what the aloe vera looks like after i scrape the gel out of it now you can actually see the skin um, sorry the flesh is still on there now this is our flaxseed gel guys so at this point it has completely cooled down so we're ready to use it i'm just going to go ahead and transfer it into this little container so i can store it now some of you guys asked me previously how long you can store this now i store mine in the fridge for about two to three weeks and then the freezer you can store for much longer than that we're talking months um so essentially yeah just pour that in your container so that it's easier um, to use now I will be splitting this into two parts okay so one part I will be mixing with the um, aloe vera gel that I made earlier so that I can use this as a leave-in conditioner now you guys I don't know if you've tried flaxseed gel before and had flakes in your hair now if you tried it before and had flakes this is the solution okay so when you mix it with aloe vera gel 
you don't have flakes in your hair so you can use it as a leave-in conditioner it's very very moisturizing it will give you nice and thicker hair um very manageable hair so really really good and i do love to use it as a leave-in conditioner trust me it is so good and then the other part that i haven't mixed with the aloe vera again i will be keeping it to use as a people treatment or just like a regular um hair treatment that you can wash out of your hair because the thing with flaxseed gel is that when it dries out it becomes uh, very flaky um but like i said guys mix with the aloe vera gel you don't get any flakes which is absolutely amazing now in this part of the video guys i'm going to share with you how i use it on my hair and also how you should use it um, to see amazing results so i'll definitely suggest that you keep on watching now i will be demonstrating how i use it how i use the leave-in conditioner so the one that i'm going to leave in my hair um, but then it's the same way that you would use it if you were to wash it out the only difference is you wash it out whereas this one i will leave it in until wash day pretty much so i'm starting here on sections i always work on my hair sections guys it's much easier to handle your hair that way so you can see my hair is kind of dry here it needs a bit of moisture you know so i'm just parting my hair and essentially did a bit of finger detangling and then i'm just just using the um uh, leave-in conditioner to my roots my ends pretty much everything just making sure that the rest of the hair is covered now the one thing that i didn't really um emphasize on is that if you are mixing it with the aloe vera gel guys please make sure that the aloe vera gel is about the same quantity as the flaxseed gel and cloves that we've made or the aloe vera gel could be slightly higher in quantity um, than the flaxseed gel essentially Now, when you apply it, guys, please remember to apply to your scalp because our hair grows out from our scalp. So essentially, you want to reap the benefits of this. So apply to your scalp as well. And trust me, it doesn't give you build up just like if you're using butters or short bought leave-in conditioners. This is actually really light, but it's very um, moisturizing for the hair and it also helps your hair grow faster. So apply to the scalp and then the rest of the hair including your ends as well i tend to massage my scalp as well every time that i work on my hair it's just i don't know and i've, I've done it for so long uh, that it just becomes like second nature but scalp massages are great at improving blood flow to your scalp area which again just brings more oxygen nutrients your follicles to provide faster hair growth Okay guys, as you can notice here, my hair is looking a bit white, but don't worry about that because it's because I've got the conditioner on it. Um, when, once it dries, it will be fine. So my hair will be nice and dark and shiny and all of that good stuff. So at the moment it's looking like this because it's still wet. So you don't need to wash this out of your hair. So just leave it in. Now also use a sort of sealant, like an oil to help you seal the moisture in your hair. I did not really do that because it wasn't long that I oiled my scalp essentially and my hair. So I just didn't bother to apply any more oil. Um, so I will use this twice a week just for regular moisture and you know, to also get my hair nice and thick. So this is it for me today guys. I do hope you enjoy watching and if you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up. It really helps my videos out and also subscribe to the channel guys if you're not already and i'll catch you in my next video which will be very soon so thanks so much for watching guys until next time bye